We are now going to use graphing to identify inconsistent systems and dependent equations. So remember in all the examples that we've looked at so far, we've been able to find a specific point where the two lines cross. And we say that this point right here is our solution. Well, sometimes our lines never cross because they're parallel. And if they're parallel, then we say that they are inconsistent because no point makes them true. No matter what point I pick on the blue line, it will never match one on the green line. Likewise, sometimes we actually happen to get the same line. Sometimes they both are the purple line, so we would have two purple lines drawn here. And in this case, everything that works for one works for the other. In fact, they're the same equation, and therefore we call them dependent. It's a dependent system or a dependent equation because they're the same equation, so any point works. This also happens to mean that there's an infinite number of solutions for a dependent system, and there are no solutions for an inconsistent system. So let's look at a couple of examples. First, let's look at the system of 2x minus 3y equals minus 6 and y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. We'll graph this line in blue and we're going to use intercepts since both 2 and negative 3 divide into negative 6. If y is 0, then 2x equals negative 6 or x is negative 3. Negative 6 divided by negative 3 for the x being 0 gives a y of 2. And so we get this line right here. Our green line is ready for slope-intercept form, so we'll start at minus 2. And we go up 2, over 3, up 2, over 3, generate these points, draw our line to connect them. And we notice, as soon as we draw this, that the blue line and the green line are parallel. So this is a inconsistent system. And we can stop there and say there is no solution. Another example that we could look at looks like this. y equals 2x minus 3 and 6x minus 3y equals 9. Again, we'll graph both of these. y equals 2x minus 3 starts at negative 3 and goes up 2 over 1, up 2 over up 2 over 1, and it keeps going through, and we connect our line, and so there's our blue line. We then take our green line, notice this one can be done by, almost be done by intercepts. So let's solve it for y, minus 3y equals minus 6x plus 9, divide everything by a negative 3, we get y equals 2x minus 3. Hey, that's the same line. And if I were to draw it, it passes through all the same points. Because these are the same, we say that this is a dependent system and that our y value is equal to 2 times our x value minus 3. So our y value depends on the x that we pick. And so we get to choose x, just like we've seen before, and then verify our y, and we can generate an infinite number of points this way.